everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new to this channel thank you so very much for stopping by please do also like our videos and subscribe to substance tv for updates on the big brother manja no loose guard edition guys majority of the housemates of this season's big brother understand their assignment very well they do because there have been a lot and a lot of planning plotting conspiracies of housemates against other pairs in the house and i'm like you know day <laughs> guys i actually find it very exciting because this is the day three in this house and you know these people are already bringing in the heat bringing in the fire the likes of the zingwe ben oyeka kasia ne you know these people really really understand what they are here for they do not want to lose god at all they do not want to lose god and i actually find it very interesting okay so guys the thing is these people have plans that they want to execute in the house not by themselves but they are sending people to execute those plans for them interesting and now guys they have spilled the plans they have spilled their plans first of all Let's talk about Ben from the Better Pair coupled with the Checker Sisters. Okay, so Ben has been encouraging the Checker Sisters, Chizoba and Onyeka, to date Femi. Okay, he has been encouraging one of the two sisters to date Femi. Femi is a pair from the Radicals, okay, and his reason is that he sees that Femi has a bright future in this game. And I want to understand where. Ben is headed in this whole game thing, okay? He's sending the Checker sisters to go date him. I, I want to know the bright future he actually has in the game that he thinks, um, he thinks Femi is playing. Because, trust me, I don't even see any game that Femi is playing. But let's just see. If you talk about strong personalities in the house, I don't think I'll call Femi as, you know, the top 10. And I feel like the reason Ben asked one of the Checker sisters to go date Femi is because Ben knows fully well that Femi's weak point is women with big backside, okay? Femi made that declaration one time in the house that the problem he will have in the house is only women with big backside, that he likes women with big backside. So guys, Femi lately have been so interested in Onyeka, like, he really, you will know that he really, really do like Onyeka, okay? So, I feel like Onyeka might, might be the one that might probably go for Femi because she's literally the most endowed person in the house and Femi actually is attracted to her like Femi really really likes Onyeka so I want to know how it will play out I want to know the plan I just I cannot just wait for this particular plan that Ben have with the Checker sisters okay so there's another pair that is planning things that is planning things cooking things up against another pair is the Zimwis. yes so the Zimwis, zion and chingwe have been talking have been planning on how to put a reeves or scatter the double k that is cassia and kelly ray so the thing is cassia and kelly ray are actually married okay but during the introduction they told the housemen that they are besties and they've been friends for five years all right so in one way or the other chingwe got to notice that these people are beyond besties. She said that she thinks that they are actually married. And I'm like, wow! Like, wow! Like, she was so fast, so sharp in figuring out these people in just a day. Guys, in just a day. Now, the thing is, she doesn't still believe that these people are besties. And she has come up with a plan with her boyfriend, Zion, to put a rift. So, you know, to put a standard in that their relationship, she wants the truth to come out. They both want the truth to come out. So, they said that they are going to send two beautiful female housemates to go for Kelly Ray. Okay? Housemates that literally have the kind of physique as, uh, as Cassia. Okay? Probably that might be um, Kelly Ray's spec of girl. Someone with that kind of physique. Okay? So, they have in mind... Anita and Victoria. So they want Anita and Victoria to carry on with this plan they have. And I cannot wait to know how it will play out. If they would still carry on with the plan or not. But if they finally do carry on with that plan, I am more than ready and willing to know how it will play out. Okay? So guys, Onyeka, one of the pairs of the checkers, have been doing a lot lately. Like, she has been doing a lot in making sure that she match makes housemates together. Like, she has just been doing it so much. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> madam, 
please be calming down. All right, she's just going here and there. Like you just see her every. Onyeka is everywhere. She is everywhere. Okay, you who do you like? You who do you like? And she's just going. She's just everywhere. And I'm like, babe, I know say you know one lose guard, but it gets at this thing they take play out. Not they do too much because I feel like when you're doing too much like this, to become very exhausting and you know. When people know that you're all about who to ship, who to match make, who do you like, people don't even want to engage you like that because they'll know that that's the only thing that can come out of your mouth. Do you understand? So I feel like there are ways to do these things. Okay, you don't just meet people and start like I start asking, who do you like? You know, no, 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 no. It's when it gets too much, especially for the housemates there, they might not even, you know, want to have that conversation with you again because they know that's what you're all about. Do you understand? So Oyeka has literally been going from table to table to table to ask, who do you like? Who is there any way she has not gone to? She has met Victoria. Okay, she asked Victoria this morning that who does she like in the house? And Victoria was like, she actually has someone in mind. Yeah, she has someone in mind. And she also went to the Mbadiwe twins. She went to play that card with them. And those ones told her that, see, I'm not here for any relationship thing or shipping thing. I am just here to have fun, make connections, and that is it. Please don't bring that one to me. Like, Oyeka is actually doing too much, okay? I love the fact that she's a vibrant kind of person, okay? She is very interactive, but I feel like this whole shipping thing is becoming very unbecoming. Like, Oyeka actually went to Soju to ask Soju who he likes in the house, okay? Who he finds attractive in the house. And Soju was like, he actually likes Victoria, that Victoria is a speck of girl, that he really likes her, but he feels like her mind is somewhere else, that her attention is somewhere else, okay? So, Oyeka was trying to convince Soju to, you know, push for Victoria, go and tell her how you feel about her, okay? She might actually like you, just go and tell her, do you understand? So, guys, though, like I said, Oyeka is everywhere, okay? She quite told Sean that you should not lose guard with his ship with Wani, that she will make sure that she blocks every asset, that he won't be able to leave that ship, okay? He won't be able to leave the ship and all that shit that he has to to stick to that one one <laughs> oh my god this is so so interesting like really interesting you see this house i want to know what will stop like it all seven one days in this house and not from the very start we're already feeling them like we're actually feeling this housemates guys i want to know by the end of the 71 days what will really happen like we didn't continue with the same energy or we did foster at a point so guys that is basically all for today's video thank you so very much for watching Please do also like and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the Big Brother Niger No Lose Guard. See you guys in my next video. Until then, stay splendid.